Cozy Boys. <laughs> Part 8, that's a dirty fountain. Yeah. That's what I call a trouble counter. Right. Take the blood, hold on. Two sides. All right. What is going on guys, it is Chill Life here coming to you guys with a brand new video for today. Today I am gonna talk about something. This is gonna be kind of a different video and I'm playing NBA 2K17 because my GTA 5 is not working right now for some reason. That's why I'm playing NBA 2K17. I just wanna make this kind of like a serious video and concerning what happened to like Minilad and Jay. Gameplay doesn't really matter in this video for me. It's all about what I'm having, what I'm gonna have to say. So Minilad and Jay got into an accident and they got hit by a Tacoma, I think. It's like 1.30 in the morning and Minilad has been in the hospital for a long time. Same with, same with Jay. Minilad flew 40 feet and Jay flew, I think, 55 feet. They haven't been well. Well, I, I think they both got lucky because they're alive, but Jay isn't in a good condition like at all. If you guys, please pray for them and Please send them your love because it really means a lot to them. So I just want to say like it's awesome to see how not just YouTubers but fans, their fans are showing love to them. Especially what happened right now. Minilad made a video yesterday. I, it's yesterday where when I'm making this video. I'm not making. I'm not gonna post this video until like Sunday. I think I'm not sure, but. Yeah, it's either Sunday or Monday, but if you haven't seen that video yet, I'm gonna leave it in the description down below. Basically, Minilad, it's just, I can't help but be sad. I know it's just, I'm such a wuss about being sad about someone who doesn't even know me, but he has been an awesome YouTuber. I'm a fan. He's an awesome YouTuber, and he brings such positive vibes in this video, and seeing him devastated and not as energetic as... He was, it's understandable, but at the same time, I can't help but be sad. Someone who's such a positive guy can be that, like, down. And if I was in his position, I would have I would have dealt with the situation even worse. I'm not as strong as him. He's a strong guy. I see that now. He's so blessed that he's alive, but at the same time, this shouldn't have happened. There's a part of him that's blaming himself that if he didn't ask Jay to hang out at his place, this wouldn't have happened, but it's not your fault, it's not, it's not, it's far from your fault, it's all the driver's fault, man, like, don't blame yourself for anything, I don't even know if you're watching this, you probably aren't, but just don't blame yourself, it's all about, it's all the driver's fault, and I'm happy that they are alive, and I've been praying for them non-stop, Minilad is such, like I said, he's just, he's, he's such a happy guy, like, that's his nature, and seeing him just, like this is devastating enough. Jay is still in a medical induced coma, so please pray for him. Uh, I don't. I know everything's gonna be fine. I I trust my prayers, and I know everything's gonna be fine. They're gonna pull through it. And Minilad has been out of the hospital for days now, and Minilad has been out of the hospital for days now, but he can walk. That's why he has a thing. I don't know what it's called. It's called Walker. Not sure, but it's called. I think it helps him walk, and he has his parents, which by now flew out because of business stuff but he had his parents for a few days to take care of him they arrived from uk which is crazy of course if your son or if your child if your child got into that sort of accident i would have done the same thing i they did and that just makes me realize how lucky i am because i got hit by a motorcycle it's just a motorcycle so it's not that serious i got hit by a motorcycle and i flew like 10 feet or something but i didn't feel anything nothing happened to me and i just got up talked to the guy i didn't want to like sue him or anything i didn't want him to give i didn't want to give him trouble because i don't know i i just can't bear it like i don't like just don't do it again man and i know it's an accident in my case it's an accident so yeah seeing minilad i saw his left foot i saw his left leg and it's pretty busted and the right one's even worse but it's it just proves to you you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow or even later if something bad is gonna happen or something good i you don't know that you don't know what the future holds for you that's why make the best out of your life like i know he said this already in the video but don't dwell on something that doesn't make you happy man like it's just not worth it do things that makes you happy appreciate what you have and appreciate who's there for you the people who's there for you your family your friends just appreciate them because you don't know man like you don't know what's gonna happen and i'm not saying that something bad is gonna happen i'm just saying that you never know man and i know what y'all are gonna say like you're using him for views and 
you're using him just to make like more views more income more income even though i don't make money out of this but i'm not gonna monetize anything man i'm not gonna monetize this because i don't i just don't feel like it's right so and if you're driving recklessly too even though it's night or morning even if you don't think that there's people there just don't man like it's not worth it especially you're in a tacoma first off that's not even a sports car so why are you showing off Second, if you're planning to arrive at your destination faster, imagine if you got in an accident. It's not, it's gonna take you longer. Just be careful because you're ruining some, you almost ruined someone's life. You almost took away someone's life, man. It's not cool. It's not cool at all. What if that happened to you, man? Like, would you like that? No. Before you do something, just think about how it affects other people. And if it happened to you, would you be okay with it? Now, if not, just don't do it, man. Don't be selfish to do things even though you know that it's gonna affect, affect other people just because you want to do it. These people have families, man, and that's what you and that's what you don't think about. That's why there's rules to avoid this, this kind of phenomenon. That's why there's rules to avoid accidents and bad, bad things. That's what everybody needs to understand is to not just think about yourself is to think about other people as well so yeah uh good i i'm gonna put mini lad sweater in the description down below please show him some love and j2 thank you guys for listening for what i have to say just i hope you guys send love to mini lad and j like it helps more than you can even fathom man so yeah i hope, thank you guys for listening for what i have to say i'm not gonna ask you to leave a like or subscribe just I'm gonna ask you one thing, just show them some love. So yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, stay awesome, have a good day, peace out everyone.